Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to mankind's finest achievements. Today, we are looking at Leinenkugel. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Summer Shandy. It is summer, of course. And I can't seem to find what the APV is, but that's okay. I imagine it's fairly low being a Shandy. Let's pop this up. And today, we are looking at Ride the Bullet by Jordan Sendar. Probably saying his last name wrong too, and I'm sure he'll make fun of me for that. It is a score attacky kind of game. We'll kind of show off what it's all about when we get in, as per the usual. So we'll get a nice pour that looks like a shandy, alright. With a pretty nice head. Get a nice smell. It should smell lemony. Oh man, that is straight lemon. I am looking forward to this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with the game momentarily. All right, so we are here with Ride the Bullet. I really like the music. I think it's really well done. So we are going to just go and play. So it is set up into four acts, as you can see, with very few levels. We will start off with level one. As you can see, I've, I've played a little bit just to kind of get the soundtracks going on and kind of know what's going on. So this is a... I'm trying to think of a good term for it. It's a bullet riding sim, I guess is the, the best way to put it, with some score attacky stuff. Glad you found you before you did something stupid. Oh, me, I'm Joe. I'm sure you heard what happened. I know it's hard, but you can't rush into this. You are dealing with the worst kind of people, and right now they hold all the power. I knew your brother, knew what he was trying to do. You're crazy if you think you could do the same. Marcelo is not a man to be taken lightly. He's at the top for a reason, and I'm sure he'll have no problem doing to you what he did to your brother. Still, since it doesn't look like I can stop you, let's at least do it right. I am valuable within the organization. Anyone needs a job done, I know the right person for it. You got it. That's how we are going to get you in. But first, I need to make sure your skills are up to snuff. Anyways, we will start really simple. All you need to do is fire and let the bullet do its thing. The orange boosters will max out your speed. The blue lifters will keep you airborne. Give it a shot. So, the objective is to kill everyone in the level and not let your bullet connect with anything and there's some time aspects to it as well we don't we literally have to do nothing if we try to move the computer will chastise us and i like that kind of self-referential humor and uh self-deprecating humor as well so mission complete first mission real simple great you can fire a bullet i'm sure marcelo is faint with unease if you think you have any chance yet you are dumber than i thought listen you aren't your brother, but you do still have that t talent, which I guess is controlling bullets with your mind powers. Runs in the family, I'm told, but I have to say I'm skeptical. Anyways, you just have to press left to go left and right to go right, or A and D. That's simple enough, isn't it? Let's see what you got. You could have done the last one literally in your sleep. Time to step it up. Let's see how well you can control the bullet. Tap left and right for simple. If left to for left, right to right. That simple. So now we have some obstacles that we have to do, and we really kind of need to keep these boosts going. I really like the design of the game, and I really, really like the sound effects, and I like the rag dolliness. So there's a bit of, of that too. Um, great, you aren't completely incompetent. Let's move on. Now we're getting somewhere this ability to control the bullet is extremely valuable, but it's not without limits. Requires a great deal of focus. Timer in the right of your screen denotes how long your focus lasts before you lose control of the bullet and it drops from the air, which we will actually move our, there we go, so that you guys can see, sorry. Um, you can see our timer because I don't think you guys could. So we got nine seconds basically to go once we pass that kind of light area and we have to try not to miss everyone. So I'm gonna actually restart that. Restarting is as simple as pressing R. The controls are very simple which is really helpful for this sort of game. Oh, did it again. Sometimes your your uh, your re the reflexes aren't always so good, especially when drinking. But there we go. And we have to get all the people with the um, little crowns, and killing people obviously gives us more time. So, very simple concept, very difficult game, and that's the kind of game you want for a score attacky game. So, we now have this phrase looking guy, and I, I'm pretty sure these are people who tweeted Jordan Sender with pictures of their own. Um, so, I, I like that aspect. That, that's the, the creepiest picture, and I like kind of the, the photoshopped hair. I don't know if it's actually photoshopped, but 
And it actually looks like iDubs. A little bit. I wonder if that's iDubs. IDubs, iDubs TV is a, a YouTuber. That's really who that looks like. So this is basically telling us a story. We're going to try to infiltrate this gang organization. We have to kill six of the guards. And as you saw on level seven, I got stuck. It, it's... Oh, we have to um, kill all six. So I missed. And then we'll get a nice drink. The... Range of your bullets actually not too um, precise, which I like. There's, it's obviously you, you have to to get there in the close approximation, but it, it's it's pretty forgiving. So we'll get a drink here. Not nearly as lemony as it tastes. It kind of tastes like lemon pledge connected with. Oh, there we go. On the burp, you taste lemon. I'm gonna be burping lemon all freaking day now. It's not bad. I've had better shandies, though. So, we had to kill eight more guards. And obviously, the game gets more difficult as time goes on. And you'll see that in the seventh level, because I really, really suck at it, especially now that um, this is the third <laughs> indie brew that I've done today. Oop. And as you can see, the, the bullet gets lower and lower in its trajectory. And it, it, it does a very good job visualizing that. Which is all you can do, and I believe this is the one that I actually have some some problems on. Or where I started to have problems on. Oh, there we go. So, at least reloading is easy. It definitely has that going for it, and you'll, you'll fuck up. Guaranteed you'll fuck up. So, you know, you and, and the R button will be uh, pretty good friends. And, of course, you don't want your bullet to get grounded, and you want to keep your score up. There we go. And I love the sound effects. I, I, I really like this. It's, it's really fun. I'm not much of a score attacky guy, as I've, I've said before. And we'll just get there in the nick of time. But this this game is fun, and it doesn't feel too score attacky. Um, obviously, there's, I don't think there's any leaderboards yet. There, there may come leaderboards. And I, I know I say score attacky. Okay, so this, I think, is the one that I, I had some, some serious problems with. Yeah, this is level 7. I don't know how to get both of those guys at the same time, and it hurts my my times. And it, it will get way complex here real soon. Yeah, I really don't know how to get both of those both of those guys. So we'll go through the door, and as you can see, we now have a lot more obstacles in our way. But I I love the physics, so I'm gonna try to beat this one. There we go. And that's probably where we'll leave it. This will probably take me like an hour. Oh, don't want to miss the first guy. It it, it it gets hard, man. And my hand-eye coordination is pretty crummy. I really don't know how to get both of those guys. I love that sound effect. So I wish I had hit him, because we really need him for the, the time. Yeah. Oh, we got him right as our time went out. Ah. Oh. The more I drink, the less bad that tastes. But it's it's not. I mean, I know I said it was okay, but um, it's really light. It uh, the the end is starting now to taste like a wheat beer. The, the more I drink, the more I like it. So we we got him. I love the sound effects. And that is the best I've ever done. Oh, I think we're going to do it. We did it. We didn't get Max, but uh, we, we did end up killing everyone that we basically needed to kill. I guess you were useful for something. I thought that was going to take a lot longer. That really looks like iDubs TV. So what, you should sort out a couple of small fries. There's more work to do, though. I still don't trust you, but the bone does. What does he need? He needs to lay down the law. The boss wants someone's head and doesn't want the organization's hand getting dirty. Seems to me that you are the man for this job. This is kind of this kind of makes me feel like that um, Annalena Jolie movie that came out a couple years where the people were like, could move, bu you know, like, bend bullets. Not a very good movie, but the execution here is pretty good. Listen up, things are starting to get tricky, and I think it's time you learn something before you head out and get yourself killed. Sure, you can control the bullet, but there are there may be situations, situations where normal reflexes won't cut it. That's where bullet time comes in. All right, that's right. You have the power to hone your instincts and perceive things in slow motion. 
uh, bullet time can only be maintained for a few seconds at a time, so watch the bullet time meter on the right of your screen and only press it when it has cooled down. This will cl it become clear when you get out there. Give it a go. Activate bullet time when it's cooled down by pressing the bullet time button. Without it, you will not have the precise control to navigate through tighter environments. Okay, so... I don't know what the bullet time button is. Um... Okay, let's see. Um... I have no idea. Uh, restart, pause, left, right. Okay! Oop. Let's go to shot. Okay. I guess maybe B would be bullet time? Yeah, I have no idea. Make sure to hold off on activating bullet time until exactly when you need it. Each second is crucial. Um, maybe shift? The game doesn't tell me, Mr. Sender! Yeah, I have no idea. You need to, you, okay, um... If, I wish it would tell me what the button was. Yeah, that's very strange. I'm hitting space. Hoping that that will be the, the bullet time button. Did I miss it? Let's go through again, because I could have missed it. I, I mean, it could, could be completely... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be... And obviously you need it to weave through that door. And it's not in the controls. Options. Thug mode. Well, let's check out thug mode. I have no idea what that is. Um, kid mode, I think, is just without blood. We'll move here. So, sorry, I don't, I don't know bullet mode. That is, uh, bad on me. I, sh I should probably tweet Mr. Sendar and, and ask what it is. There we go. I don't, I don't see what, the uh, thug mode seems to do. Maybe it makes the game a little bit harder. That's what I would imagine. We'll see what kid mode does. I imagine it just stops the blood. But we'll check that out. But I, I like the game. Um, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure there are other things. Oh, bullet time, fire is space. Okay. So it is space. So we're going to change that. So we're going to do Q. Okay. Maybe we had to put it into thug mode? Okay. Okay, so let's, let's try that again. Let's, um... I thought it might have been space. Okay, there we go. That is really nice. I really like bullet mode. Hit him. Oh, we didn't get everyone that we needed. Mission failed, make sure to hold off on activating bullet time until exactly when you need it. Okay. Okay. So it was indeed... ...space. As I suspected. So we'll hit him. Oh, I don't think we're gonna do it! Okay, we'll, we'll try to get this one again. Ah, and we'll we'll leave it here. I I like the game. I think it's great. You can pick it up on I believe it's on Itchio right now. I don't know if I said that correctly, but um. So we can actually. It's very easy to to turn on and off. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it. I'm so bad at this game, though. I'm sure that will uh, be a source of hilarity for everyone watching.
Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get that guy. Come on now, Va, you can do this. Gotta, gotta, ah, oh, gotta concentrate. Maybe I need to use the, the allowance. I'm pretty sure if, if I didn't fuck it up, um, pretty sure you can, you can be pretty. Oh. There you go. All right. The UI is really, really well. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I think we got it. Oh, we oh, he dodged right. The guy probably just shit his pants. Okay. Using bullet time doesn't seem to. Okay. There we go. All right. We'll do one more level. This game is really addictive. And that's what you want, I'd imagine, in a game like this. Seen you all, sent you all the information you need for the assassination. Now get, now quit waiting around and get to work. Remember, I've got you by the bones. Don't screw this up. Fool is probably upstairs communicating with the wrong people. He's got quite a lot of friends, it seems. You know what to do. All right. Oh, 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 don't get grounded. Uh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. I really like the, the level... Ah, uh, we ran out of time. We didn't hit enough people. We'll, we'll give this one one more go. Um, really, really like it. It's it's very addictive. I I've, I played, like... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I played quite a bit of it last night. Just getting a sound test. There we go. Going. Um, and I, I think it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, that was real close. Hopefully we won't run out of time. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, uh, we're not going to have enough enough force. Yep. All right. Well, guys, this has been Ride the Bullet. You can pick it up now. Link's in the description below for you to pick it up. I like it. I think it's a good game. And I would definitely suggest picking it up when you are, excuse me, able. Um, skip the beer, though. It just tastes like a really bad wheat beer, or a really middling wheat beer with... Pine salt. Tastes like pine salt. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.